Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be an intuitive general love message for new love, someone who's brand new in your life or who will be coming in. I did post a past love reading, so make sure you check that out. But just remember, energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you were coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, Spirit. How does this new person feel about Sagittarius? How does this new person feel about Sagittarius? Five of Pentacles. Okay. The death card could be dealing with a Scorpio, the Hierophant, and the Moon. Interesting. Taurus, Pisces energy. What is this Five of Pentacles? What is that? Six of Cups. There's something about you or about, yeah, about this connection, Sagittarius, that reminds this person of the past. Yeah, I'm literally hearing that Usher song. You remind me. I'm not going to sing it. <laughs> that would ruin your day. Um, search it up if you don't know that song. Old Usher is really good. Um, someone, You remind someone of the past here. Now, I feel like there's good and bad to this. Because the good is that whatever this connection was that they're thinking of in the past. Or maybe it's that the two of you have history. Now, I know this is new love. Um, but new could be that this is someone you had something with a long time ago. It never really took off or it was that friend that you like had feelings for but never told them or something like that. It could be a brand new person you've never met in your life. So it's going to be different for everyone. This is a general reading. So please take it as it resonates. There's some, the, So the good thing is, is that whatever happened in the past here, it's like nostalgic. It's like good feelings. It's like, you know, puppy love. It, it feels... Um, like it was just the two of you, or at least that's how this person felt in the past about someone else. The bad thing in this here is that like, there's something about abandonment here that tr gets triggered for this person about you. So if you, um, say it's you that has history with this person, they wonder if it's going to happen the same way again. If it's not you, they just wonder, is it going to happen the same way again? Am I going to get left behind here? Is it going to end? Because what I feel like is this person actually does really want commitment here with you. I feel like... Now, I do love reading, so commitment could be a romantic person in like being picked up on here. This could be a new friend, right? Someone who um like they would uphold like, I don't know, girl code or bro code or like this is what friends do. Like they have strong ideas about what it is to be a partner or what it is to be a friend. What is this the moon? I'm I'm Justice, Libra energy. I almost get this energy, like this person feels like it wouldn't be fair to you. Yeah, I see the uh, Eight of Cups, the Devil at the bottom. It's like something about not being fair to you because this person is like, I get a lot of like blurriness with this person. It's very vague. Like it's hard to pick up exactly what's going on with this person. Um, now the way they feel about you is there is potential here, but there, like I said, there's something about the past here, something about the Six of Cups that lingers for them. Page of, Cup, Page of Pentacles, sorry. I don't know if the two of you were friends in the past, like I said, or this is a long-standing friendship, or this person wants more, or um, something happened between the two of you where they're like hoping to start over new with you, but that still lingers. Like, let me know in the comments. It's going to be different for everyone, like I said. <laughs> This is tough. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm sitting here really trying to decipher and understand this. And I feel like this person has a lot they want to say, a lot they feel, but it comes out muddled. It's like, I don't, 
uh, is there anything else? Because I'm having a hard time deciphering this spirit. I mean, we got the Eight of Swords. So whatever it is about the two of you, um, I see the Ten of Swords at the bottom. It's like this person is stuck in their head, right? It's a little bit, you know, when you're you're thinking so hard about something, there's so many thoughts going on in your mind that it almost like you're like, I don't know what's up, what's down. Like, where, how did I even get down this rabbit hole of thinking? That's kind of how it feels with this person when it comes to you. Sagittarius they're they're trying to put pieces together they're trying to understand but there's so much in there that it gets lost it, it feels muddy like foggy op opaque I even wanted to say like I'm seeing like a, a forest covered in fog like it's hard to know where you're going or what's going on like that's how it feels about this person well, at least when they think about you here there's something about they feel like it would be unfair to you because they can't what is that? Six of Pentacles? I don't usually clarify this much, but I feel like I have to. The sun and the moon. Wow. Leo energy here. Do you know what's so strange? I don't think I've ever gotten this before, Sagittarius. It's almost like... <laughs> it's almost like during the day, this person is one way like maybe very talkative, very outgoing, gives you attention or lets you know they're interested and then at nighttime they disappear. Or or at least there's like this night and day kind of energy you feel with this person. Maybe it's not actually to do with daylight and, and nighttime, but it's just about the like it feels like sometimes you get one side to this person and other times you get a really different side and they feel like you bring that out in them. And this is also what's happened in the past before that they get worried about. Like there's something about your connection, your energy here. It feels like, like this person feels like unbalanced around you a little bit. I don't know what this is why why the justice card like why this imbalance that i'm feeling that there's that ten of swords i don't know if it happened between the two of you there's something that's on this person's mind very heavily i don't know if it's it's some sort of betrayal it's some sort of painful ending it's something that they cannot let go of and it muddles their mind what is this let me know in the comments Sagittarius, if you have any idea what I'm talking about, because I feel like right now I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> so it's always nice to, I, I can't always respond to every single comment, but I do try to read all of them. So thank you for when you do. It, it's confirmation for me too, because when I'm channeling, I don't necessarily get the whole context or the whole picture. And some people's energies are much more reserved than others. And I have to respect that, but I try my best to understand and decipher. And this person's a mystery to me. I feel like you get two sides to them. I feel like there's just something lingering here on their mind. Again, I don't know if it's between the two of you or just in their life in general that they have a hard time fully opening up. They have a hard time letting go of the past here um, because they've been hurt before. So this is someone who's very guarded, but it's strange because at times you see them as very happy, maybe even outgoing. Um... And then there's this other side, like we all experience different emotions, right? And it's not like some emotions are good or some emotions are bad. I think they're all valid, but you just, they, there's something about them feeling like it's unfair to you because they're not consistent here. And it's not even like they're doing it on purpose. It's not like they're trying to trick you or play games with you. It's just like this person's moods just like switch. I don't always get I don't know if I've ever gotten this actually um but I will preface this with saying I work in mental health so when I bring up mental health in my readings I I, I feel like spirit is wonderful because whoever's reading whoever's channeling whether it's me or any of the other wonderful tarot readers on YouTube or even if it's you Sagittarius they know your experiences spirit knows what will make sense to you spirit knows what will be relevant to you um, based on your life, what you, your experiences, your knowledge, everything. And as I'm looking at that sun and that moon, there could be bipolar here. Now, I, again, I'm not here to diagnose, of course, or anything like that, uh, but it's coming up. And I know about these things, again, because I work in that field, but only take that if it resonates, right? I, I don't know if, if, no, if it's not that, there's just like a, an abrupt almost change in um 
almost like persona almost like being and they feel like you bring that out in them in some way this is very complex if you're confused i'm confused so i i apologize uh sagittarius i don't usually go this long for how they feel about you either but this was just i'm like i'm trying to understand this and it's really hard um so we do have scorpio taurus pisces leo libra energy um, but if you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean they're not here. Let's see what their actions will be towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? The Knight of Swords. So they're definitely coming to talk to you about something here. The Knight of Wands. There's that like inconsistent energy I was picking up on. The Eight of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands. It's almost like... It's like this person has a desire to talk to you, to figure it out. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. To tell you something here, to work on this, but then it also feels like, oh, but what's the point? Like, this is, it's too much. It's too stressful. I don't know if this is ever going to work. And you might be thinking, like, why are you being so, like, this is almost like that, that side to them that can be really pessimistic or really, like, like, there's a sense of hopelessness here of, like, um, not being able to figure it out or like worry fear here the six of wands and the page of swords i gotta be honest i feel like this person likes to get your attention here so there's almost something okay okay there's almost something here like like i said the way this person shows up with you like how they can switch up they you they like you are the reason that's what they think and they want you to think that you're the reason too there's something about getting your attention here hey well i am this way because of what you did or what happened or what you said or you know my past has done this to me and like you remind me of that so it's really not my fault i feel like there's a, like a lack of accountability here a little bit with this person there's inconsistency here it's like they want to work on it but then they pull back it's like it's too much for them like this person could all, like always be stressed out or it feels like that some of the time I see 1010 10 here. Um, tell me about the Knight of Wands. They're definitely like spying on you at the very least, like trying to get information out of you here. The Tower, yeah. It's like out of nowhere, all this person, all of a sudden this person, sorry, is hot and cold with you. They could come in strong. You feel like you get this sun energy from them and then all of a sudden, they're not doing that anymore. We have Scorpio energy here. What is this? I gotta be honest with you. Like, I feel like you care. Like, I feel like you care about people in general, Sagittarius. I feel like you care about people's well-being, especially if they are a good friend or um, partner or ex-partner. Who you're like, I don't wish ill on anyone. But what I get is that this person's almost looking to you to like fix something here for them. Tell me about that page of swords. I need to know about that for a second. They want you to fix this for them or like there's something like hmm give me a second here Sagittarius again this person's like thinking is it, like their energy is like muddled here it's really hard to understand fully what they want it's like they know okay they know what they would want to do if you just told them if you just gave them the right answers if you just put them in the right direction if you if you had just said this or you had just done this or if you just like they put a lot onto you it feels like yeah look at that the devil at the bottom i don't know so i see this person messaging you but then all of a sudden they're inconsistent here and it feels like a lot of work. And then this, this person might even be like, oh, I'm so busy with work. Like, I'm so stressed. I can't do this. And it's like, well, what was the point of you even messaging me or telling me you were interested or wanting my attention or asking me all these questions or something like that? Like, it feels strange. What is this person's intentions? Look at it. Five of Wands. They want to start something up with you. They want to, like fight argue tension but then start over with the fool energy here the king of cups oh my gosh see what i mean with this person it's like what like what do you the nine of cups wow the page of pen tell me about that five of wands 
I'm not laughing because it's funny. It's just, it seems really like unnecessary is what I get. It feels like this person starts something up, they start draw while they start, but they're like, oh, okay, I'm just, they're just trying to get your interest. They're just gonna like, is this someone who likes to bug you? Likes to like push your buttons and then be like, oh, come on, come on, come on. Like, let's just put that behind you. We're good, we're good, we're good. Let's just be friends. Truce, let's start over. Like, that's how it feels with this person. And you may be like, wait, wait, wait a second. Like, you poking me and poking me and poking me back there. That was annoying. Or, like, what was that about? And they're like, no, 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 Like, just, you know, well, if you really want to know, Sagittarius, well, you said that thing or you did that thing. that, Or, you know, like, this happened to me before. And so that's why I did. Like, they, it's like, I get, like, a dismissive energy a little bit here. Like, it's like, anything else but the five of wands? Like, what is that about? <clears throat> the high priestess. This person like feels like they know how you're gonna react, so they go for it. Yeah, this. <laughs> I don't know what it is about this person, but they like to like poke. They like to poke a little bit. They like to. They like to. Maybe this is just their personality, and you just know this about this person, or you will know. It's almost like they need to start the fight and go through that with you to feel better, to bring out the 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 sun side of them. It's like they have to go through that lull, that down, that like not good feeling to come back up again. Like there's there's not really like a neutral sort of like uh, level energy about this person. I feel like there's a lot of ups and downs. I feel like, and when they're down, they like point at you or say something to you or pick, pick a fight or do something. And then they feel better after it. And they're like, okay, let's just start over. Like, I love you or I care about you or like, you know, Let's go have fun or whatever it may be. I don't know. This is this is weird. Tell me about the potential outcome. What is the potential outcome between Sagittarius and this person? <laughs> got the Hierophant. Taurus energy. You got the Queen of Cups. Wow. You got the Three of Swords. Whoop. <laughs> so just as I was like, oh my goodness, look at this. How wonderful. Then the Three of Swords pops out. It's like, what? where did that come from? Why the three of swords? The emperor, because they're stubborn. Because there's only one way or the, or look at it. Look at it. eight of cups, the devil, the nine of swords at the bottom. Because they need to be in control of the situation because it's their way or the highway. Could even be like emotionally unavailable or they're just like, it just becomes toxic in some way. Like it's like, it's it could be so good. And I feel like this is you really putting your all into it and really like giving and showing up and, you know, feeling like you have this deep connection with this person. The King and Queen of Cups are here. Like you feel like you really understand this person. I feel like you have this empathy where you're like, I can feel them. I can feel why they feel this way. And I feel for them. I don't want them to feel that way. But then all of a sudden it's like, this energy comes through where it's like my way or the highway, like we're going to do it this way or this controllingness or this stubbornness or this hard headedness. And it's like, now it's like hurting all over again. Anything else about that three of swords? Could be with an Aries. Temperance, Sagittarius, that's your energy there. They might even ask you to like, give it time. Give me time. Give me another chance here. The hanged man. But you might feel stuck. You might feel like, I don't know if I can see this person any other way. I don't know if I can see this going any other way here. It's like you can see, and especially like I mentioned before, um, if you have, say, knowledge, experience of mental health, you might be like, I can see why this person is doing what they're doing, right? I can understand it. But just because we understand things doesn't mean we have to agree to them or doesn't mean we have to tolerate them. And it almost feels like this person wants you to tolerate Sagittarius is how it feels. So while there could be this amazing connection and this, this, uh, you know, commitment between the two of you, I also feel like this, this energy comes out where it feels hard and it feels painful and it feels like you're hurt, like you're hurting me. This hurts, you know, because and like, and like uh, again, unnecessarily. So uh, how will Sagittarius know who this is? This is a very interesting reading. The Four of Pentacles. The Empress. Wow, this could be a twin flame with the Emperor and the Empress coming out. Yeah, with the lovers. Gemini, Taurus, Libra energy there. Wow, this definitely could be twin flame to a sort. Somewhat, 
there's such a strong bond between the two of you, but they're indecisive. This person could expect you to kind of always show up for them and not like put the same in. Twin, yeah, twin. It's like screaming twin flame to me right now, Sagittarius. Now, twin flames. Um, everyone has their own information on them. I have my experience of what they are based on my my research and everything. Um, check out my reading if you'd like, but I'll just quickly tell you, twin flames. There's always a runner and a chaser, right? The runner has fear of abandonment. Sorry, the runner has fear of intimacy, fear to get close, fear to be vulnerable and open up and the chaser has fear of abandonment doesn't want to be left behind doesn't want to be alone feels like someone being with them or not being with them is, like determines their worth mm. so while there is this extremely strong bond between a runner and a chaser what's meant to happen is for the two of them to come together to separate and during that separation because you were so triggered working on your fear of abandonment or your fear of intimacy and then hopefully when the chaser stops chasing and chasing doesn't have to be calling and texting chasing can just be like thinking about them all the time hoping to get back together when the chaser's like you know what i'm actually good on my own and you can't trick the universe by the way it energetically triggers the runner and the runner comes back the runner's like wait a second where did my chaser go by that time it could be too little too late time has passed maybe someone's moved on what have you but hopefully they've both worked on themselves this could be you meeting your twin flame and so while there is this like extremely strong bond you could realize like this person has this fear of intimacy this could be the runner fear to get close right and you're just here trying to give all the love and they like run away at that that's not for you to fix that's for them to fix doesn't have to be a twin flame so don't take that if it doesn't resonate um oh any advice for Sagittarius page of swords do your research ask a lot of questions um ten of pentacles the moon ace of pentacles you know i feel like you have this desire to have something solid to have something long term just like i feel like most of us do but ask the right questions like for instance if you want to be a parent ask this person what kind of parenting style do you have how many kids do you want when do you want kids like ask those harder questions because if you accept this offer and you start something new here on with with the foundation being mystery with the foundation being like i'm trying to fix this person right there's also codependency that usually happens in twin flame like the chaser being like let me fix them let me be the one person that will change who they are and how they are um let me turn this moon into the sun basically if you start off the foundation of the of the connection on that it's going to lead with that right that's the seed that you're planting here so that's the energy i'm getting here is ask a lot of questions be curious right um be curious about yourself too because if trust me like if you're the type of person and i get this that like wants has the desire to fix people it comes from a good place it comes from your heart it comes from compassion and understanding and like i said feeling them feeling like what they feel but it's not your job right and then you gotta have to ask yourself well, like why do i try to fix people why do i feel like that's my role does this also contribute to me feeling like i need to be needed right because we can point to people and point to people and say that you know they're messed up or they did this to me i just tried to help them like you know they them 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 but when you look inwards and say, well, why did I put myself in that position? Why did I put myself in a position where someone just constantly was draining me or constantly needing me and I, I put up with it, right? We have to, there has to be accountability. It's like accountability is a huge theme in this reading. Um, this person lacks it for sure. So be curious, right? Um, is what I get here, Sagittarius. This is a very deep reading. <laughs> uh, tent, we got temporary situation. So whether it's that there's issues between the two of you that are temporary right now or um, something else, box, you will receive a gift. Could be the connection with this person, right? Dragon, beware of self-delusion. You got career and you got July. So it could be a birthday or a significant date in July. Could be something with career happening in July. Wreath, sorrow over a loss. Um, I mean, you did get the three of swords and then you also just got broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. So this is not to deter you. This is not to, 
you know, put you in a sour mood or anything like that, Sagittarius. I feel like readings like this are very insightful. They could give you a heads up. They can give you more clarity on maybe a situation you're currently dealing with. Um, maybe you heard something today you never thought of before. I mean, hopefully like that's the goal for, for me to give insight, to, to help guide you, right? But at the end of the day, you know what you're doing. You It's your journey. You Your power is yours. Um, so you get to decide what's best for you and no one else under no one else needs to understand that except for you did get communication texting phone calls online you got karma toxic story but you, it also says new opportunities right so this could be a karmic connection as well again i got like strong twin flame energy that doesn't have to be look at union serious relationship marriage partnership right it could feel like that could be what's you got the hierophant a few times uh, mature woman socialite connector high society yeah <laughs> i had a feeling twin flame yeah it strongly feels like that sagittarius so again do your own research there's lots of wonderful videos on youtube you can you know google it um my definition is not the only and be all end all definition um but yeah it definitely feels like twin flame we got improving health right and health is mental emotional physical spiritual so that's what this connection could be helping you to do because look at it, you just got recovery as well so there's something about this that feels necessary for your growth for this person's growth um and then look at it, we got blame i accept responsibility for my well-being this thank you spirit confirmation there because again we can't point fingers right we have to accept that we put ourselves in certain situations trust me this was like probably the hardest lesson i had to learn in my life sagittarius that like i can't you can't continue to look outwards you have to look inwards but when you do it's the most powerful thing you can do and you just reach a different level of consciousness right um and that's what i feel like this person is here to help you do if it's not already happening, right? Um, especially if you do already have history with this person, they're coming back with this like, let's start over energy, right? But we, I accept responsibility for my well being. Write that in the comments, Sagittarius. I accept responsibility for my well being, right? You get to decide. Um, no one else controls your life, you do. <clears throat> empathic star seed this does not surprise me with that queen of cups energy that came out energetic so sovereignty sovereignty absorbing what's not yours so sagittarius again being empathetic being able to feel what other people feel some people would say is like a blessing and a curse right it's not that you need to stop doing that because that's just who you are it's about boundaries right let me just read the little thing for this because i feel like this is really important um empathic star seeds are here to shift the world through their physical presence alone they don't need to do anything beyond being here thanks to the energetic change their physical presence causes Due to their highly sensitive nature, empathic starseeds can struggle with being on earth and in a physical body. Many are prone to addiction and depression or tend to mistake other people's feelings and moods for their own. Natural introverts, they tend to prefer spending time alone or in small groups. Crowds can be overwhelming for them. So how can you take better care of yourself energetically? If this card appears, consider lightening the load energetically. Don't put yourself under such pressure to go out into the world. Be gentle with yourself. Allow extra time and care to recover energetically. If you're feeling pressured to keep up a certain pace, instead put on the brakes and treat yourself like a precious baby. Do whatever you can to take the pressures of the world off your plate. Switch off to switch back on. In today's world, it's normal to feel that we should be doing more, but perhaps being present in our life is enough. This could be a phase you're going through or simply how you're, called, how you're being called to live your life. If your work involves giving to others, right now you're being called to keep something for yourself. You don't need to transmute it all. It's okay to look after your own growth and healing before feeling you should offer it to the world. Indeed, it's necessary if you want to continue to do so sustainably. So really speaking to, you know, I believe being empathic is a superpower, Sagittarius, but it's 
also like with great power comes with great responsibility and I feel like spirit's asking you to um not not to not give but to not absorb what's not yours to not take on someone else's feelings and feel like you have to fix it take your care of yourself energetically salt baths can be really helpful spending time in nature journaling um you know therapy like there's so many ways to do this it looks different for everyone right but um i feel like when it comes to this person you're very empathic you very much like want to help them and that's not a bad thing but they have to help themselves <clears throat> so let's see any messages for sagittarius at all yes uh chaos and conflict number 33 and a leg up number 34 wow so you got 33 34 back to back here so let's see 33 this is an advantageous moment to restore order and recognize the opportunity for negotiation even in the seeming chaos, there is a kind of divine order, a complete resorting of elements. This is powerful. If your intention is to find the best solution for the highest good of all, there is positive news. The timing is perfect. Things are already stirred up, so don't be afraid to jump into the mix. You'll discover everything you need to know about how this situation affects you long term. Be present in the eye of chaos. This moment is valuable. Don't waste it. So, like I said, really reflecting, asking questions, um, doing the inner work, asking this person questions, right? Um, disarray, being at cross purposes with one another, the tension of opposites, the value of chaos before order. And then literally you got the second, like 34, right after this card, which says, relationships that are healthy thrive on interdependence. It's important to recognize that you need others as much as they need you. You must allow people to support you just as you are there for them. This is a time to be vulnerable, to speak up about your needs, and to ask for them to be fulfilled. Trust. You will be met with kindness and love. Don't expect others to read your mind. Ask and it is given. So again, if you're used to being the one to show up, show up, show up, um, there's a call to not do that as much. But if you still have questions, Sagittarius, make sure you check out my link in the description box for Mystic Sense. There you can connect to a love psychic of your choice and your first five minutes with them are completely free. So you could ask them questions about this person, about what's coming next, about um, anything else I might have missed for you. So make sure you check that out. Um, but these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, significant dates, Take it as it resonates, but if something here doesn't resonate, it doesn't mean that it wasn't your reading. So we got G, G again. I heard the name GG. I know that can be short for something. Um, B, L, I, P, X, and the number one. I don't know why, but I'm hearing pink hair. <laughs> Um, I don't know if someone has pink hair or has dyed their hair or is hoping to let me know in the comments but I do hope something here resonated Sagittarius if it did please let me know in the comments down below please like share subscribe if you feel drawn to do so thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy I am sending you so much love and so much light